Today's video is on bipartite graph and this is from graph theory and this is the most important and interesting topic today. See here, what is a bipartite graph? So bipartite graph is otherwise known as pi graph. Bipartite graph is a graph whose vertices can be divided into two disjoint sets. So we have to divide the vertices into two disjoint sets that is in every edge connects a vertex in U to one in V. And see here, here is a small note here, a bipartite graph can have no loop. And see with a small example, I'll explain you what is this definition. So represent the bipartite graph. So here if you see this graph, so we have to separate the vertices into two disjoint sets according to our definition. See here, according to the definition, bipartite graph is a graph whose vertices can be divided into two disjoint sets. So the vertices here are V1 here, V2, V3, V4, U1, U2 and U3. So now I'm going to separate V and U. See here, here it is V1 and this is V2, this is V3 and this is V4 and I'm separating these two. So the total edges here will be so, the first one V1, V2, V3 and V4 and see the next uh, vertices are, the next one is U1, U2 and U3. So, I'll name it as uh, the set A. These are the set of the vertices. So, these are the disjoint sets. See here, out of all these vertices, I have separated into two disjoint sets and now, we have to see then what we have to do that is every edge connects a vertex in U to 1 in V. See here. So this is also very easy to understand. So there are four vertices here that is V1. Here it is V1. So this is V1. This is V2. This is V3. And this is V4. And coming to this, this is U1. This is U2. And this is U3. Now see here. So we have to go to V1. So V1 has two edges. So towards U1 and towards U2. Now the same thing we have to make an edge towards U1 and towards U2. See here. And the next one I have to go with V2. So where is V2 here? V2. V2 have three edges here. So one is towards U1, one is towards U2 and one is towards U3. So that's what I'm making here. One is towards U1 and one is towards U2. Same thing I'm doing and one is towards U3. Got it? And next thing here is I have to go to V3. So edges here are towards U2, U3. And that's it. U2, U3. So, I have to go with U2 and again with U3. And next coming to V4, there is a single edge here. That is towards U3. So, I have to give an edge to U3. And this is how we have to draw the graph uh, according to the bipartite graph. So, we have prepared a bipartite graph using this graph. So, we have to make a separate vertices. So, we have to split these uh, total vertices in the graph into two disjoint sets. That is V1, V2, V3 and V4. Sorry, this is V4. And the next set here is U1, U2 and U3. After splitting these two, so we have to give the connections or the edges we have to frame. How we have to make a frame? V1 is connected with U2 and U1. Here also U2 and U, U1 and U2. Here V2 is connected with or with U1, U2 and U3. So U1, U2 and U3. And next V3 is connected with U2 and U3. So V3, I made a connection with U2 and U3. And U4 have a single connection with U3. So this is a bigraph. Now coming to the definition here. Bigraph is a graph whose vertices can be divided into two disjoint sets. That is, every edge connects a vertex in U to 1 in V. So, using this graph, we can easily bipartite the graph. And next one, there is another example here. So, represent the bipartite graph here. So, this one. So, here we can see V1, V2, V3, V4. And next, U1, U2, U3 and U4. So, so we have to split the into two disjoint sets. So, first one is the first vertices are 
V1, V2, V3, V4 and the next one, the next set we have to separate the vertices. So I am splitting this one. So this is U1 and next this is U2, this is U3 and again this is U4. So I am separating the vertices. So here this is U1, U2, U3 and U4. So I am drawing a bipartite graph. See here. So first one is V1, V2, V3 and V4. So these are the vertices V1, V2, V3 and V4. And next coming to U1, U2 and U3. So this is, see here, U1, U2 and this is U3 and this is U4. So these are the two set of vertices, disjoint sets of vertices. So we have eight total vertices. And out of eight vertices, I have uh, made into two, split into two disjoint sets with four, four vertices each. And V1, V2, V3 and V4, U1, U2, U3 and U4. Now, see here. So, we have to go with V1. So, V1 has three edges here. So, towards U1, towards U2 and towards U4. So, V1. So, I have to give an edge to U1. See here U1 and this is U2. See here this is U2 and this is U4. Clear? And next one we have to go with V2. So where is V2? V2. So V2 has three edges that towards U1, U2 and U3. See here V2 has U1 edge, U2 and next U3. And next we have to go with V3. So here is the vertex V3 and it has three edges see towards u2 towards u3 and towards u4 so towards u2 see here towards u2 towards u3 and next one towards u4 clear and next one going to v4 so v4 has three edges towards u1 u3 u4 see here towards u1 and next one towards u1 u3 so, this is U3 and towards U4. So, this is U4 and this is the bigraph. So, this is how we have to draw and according to our definition that we have to check the total number of vertices and we have to split into two set of disjoint sets. So, clearly V1, V2, V3, V4 and U1, U2, U3, U4. So, this is how we have to draw the bigraph and this is so simple if you follow these steps. See, next one is the most important thing that is complete bipartite graph. See here, this is also very easy to understand. See, complete bipartite graph is a spe special kind of bipartite graph where every vertex of the first set is connected to every vertex of the second set. So, this is very, very simplest uh, graph here. Complete bipartite graph is a special kind of bipartite just now i taught about bipartite graph and this is a special kind for complete bipartite graph so where every vertex of set first set there are two sets here set one and set two so every vertex of set first set is connected with every vertex of the second set for example i'll show you so i'll, I'll give you a small example here there are four vertices here see here the first set A contains V1, V2 and the second vertex contains U1, U2, U3. See here. So, I, I need a complete bipartite graph. See, first thing is there are two vertices that is V1 and V2. See here, V1 and V2. And in the second set, we have three vertices that is U1 and this is U2 and this is U3. And what is this complete bipartite graph? See here, complete bipartite graph is the vertex of the first set. See here, if you take this vertex of the first set, is connected to every vertex of the second set. So this is the second set. So it should, it should have a connection with every vertex of the second set. Clear? So the first vertex the vertex of the first set should have connections with every vertex of the second set. And next coming to V2, so it should have connection with every set 
every vertex in the second set. So this is a complete pie graph. So, so this is the complete pie graph. And next one, this is example one. And the next example here I'm showing. So I'll show you another example. So first set contains, see here, first set contains A, B, C. And the second set contains 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So we need a complete graph. So see here in the first set the vertices are A and this is B and this is C. In the second set we have 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4 and this is 5. See here. So according to our definition, so what is it we have to do? So every vertex in set, first set, is connected to every vertex in the second set. See here, A should be connected with every vertex of the second set. A should be connected with every vertex in the second set. And similarly, B should be connected with every vertex in the second set. See here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And similarly, C should be connected with every vertex in the second set. See here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is the complete pie graph. And see, and let me explain you one more uh, example here. So, here the third example is. So, hope you all guys understand. So, you are all very clear. And see, the set A is equal to 1, 2, 3. And the set B is equal to, this is A, B, C. And see now, what is the pie graph here? So, the by graph will be, in the first set, we have three vertices, 1, 2, 3. So, this is 1, 2 and 3. And in the second set, so we have A and this is B and this is C. So, what is this complete by graph? Complete by graph is, see here, every vertex in first set. So, this is the first set and this is the second set. Every vertex in the first set is connected to every vertex in the second set. So, this first vertex in the first set is connected with every vertex in the second set. Similarly, 2 is connected with A, B, C and 3 is also connected with A, B and C and this is the complete by bipartite graph and I hope you all guys understand so you are all very clear about bipartite graph and the complete bipartite graph and see here bipartite graph is the graph whose vertices can be divided into two disjoint sets first we have to split into two disjoint sets and that is every edge connected in a vertex in u is 1 to v so, a bipartite graph can have no loop and this is an example. So, this is also very clear. So, using this diagram, we have to split. We have to check all the vertices and we have to split into two disjoint sets and see V1, V2, V3, V4 and U2. And according to our diagram or a figure, so we have to arrange all the edges here. So, this is bipartite graph and the special case here or the special kind of bipartite graph is complete bipartite graph and there is no scope of any graph here completely. The first set vertices should be connected with the second set vertices and this is the example. So, these are the examples. So, it will be very easy if you practice. If you understand this video, please pass it on to your friends. Please subscribe to this channel and support for more videos. Thank you so much.